Today we're gonna to be replacing the Hydro Boost on this LOI Duramax with a 2011 LML Hydro Boost. Let's go. First thing you wanna do is remove the bolts that are holding your Hydro Boost to your master cylinder. Then you're gonna remove this line right here. This one. And then lastly, this one. Don't worry, you're gonna leak a little bit of power steering fluid, but it's no big deal. All right, up next, you are gonna go under the dash and we're gonna to have to disconnect this little piece from the brake pedal. There is a clip right there right there that you need to remove and it'll just disconnect like this you're gonna push so it would be like this like that and you're gonna push the rod out and then your pedal is just gonna drop and our hydro boost will be ready to come out after i remove the four bolts that are right there that one there's four of them that's holding this hydro boost right there. So we'll remove that and then it'll just come right out. Just like that comes out. Ooh, nice. And then put it right here next to the OG. This is the like uh, auto parts, advanced auto parts. There's some good. This is like a Reman Hydro Boost. Nothing's wrong with it, I just don't like it. And here is an AC Delco original Hydro Boost from Rock Auto. Oh, this is different, huh? Hmm? Yeah, it's a little different. See here. I just gotta make sure with these, this is a LML Hydro Boost. Well, not even LML, this is for a 2011 LML Hydro Boost. Uh, it's a direct bolt on except for Gotta make sure this little shaft right here is the same size, cause this one's slightly smaller. So I'm gonna have to drill a hole just a little bit bigger so it slides in. I keep doing that, it's really awkward. <laughs> Cam, why you gotta do that? Now I can't monetize this. Might as well. This is how you're gonna connect the Hydro Boost to the brake pedal. So the first thing you want to do is slide the shaft from the Hydro Boost into like right there to where your brake pedal is. So you're going to put it in like that first and then you're going to slide this up in there like that and then slide it in just like so got the new hydro boost on there we're gonna have to just reconnect all the lines back on and then get all the air out of the system and then we'll find out how much better this hydro boost is compared to the stock one well not even compared to stock one but compared to the AutoZone one that I have You can't sit in it. Just turn the steering wheel. What I'm doing right here right now is I'm just turning my steering wheel to the left and to the right and to the left, kind of back and forth, and then pump on the brakes a little bit. Uh, apparently this is the best way to bleed your Hydro Boost system. This whole time I've been thinking we're working on brakes. <laughs> I'm like, that ain't bleeding no air out of the brakes, bro. <laughs> 
Makes more sense now. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard to tell, but if you watch the clip on the top, the brake pedal sinks all the way to the bottom and that's when the brakes will engage. Uh, and if you look at the video clip on the bottom, the brake pedal is firm and it doesn't sink as much as the one on the top because the top one goes all the way to the bottom, almost touches the floorboard. Got done replacing the Hydro Boost with the 2011 LML Duramax Hydro Boost, and keep in mind that for some reason it's only the 2011 Hydro Boost that'll work on these classic bodies. And the reason why I went with that is, like I said, the previous owner had put uh, AutoZone Hydro Boost, and I've just had really bad experience with it in the past. Uh, it's, it, Actually, in my 2011 LML, I bought a Hydro Boost from AutoZone. It was a reman, and I lost pressure about five times. Yeah, it, I mean, it's crazy. At first, I just thought I needed to bleed the brakes, and I would bleed the brakes, and it would work. And then, like a week later, just out of the blue, I would lose pressure. God was definitely looking out for me because every time I lost pressure, it happened in the parking lot. I would literally have to stand on the brake pedal for the truck to slow down. The truck wouldn't even come to a stop, so what I had to do was, as the truck was slowly moving, I would put it in park, and I would literally sit there, and I would just be like, all right, God, please help me out. After like the third or fourth time, I realized it's not the brakes that I need to believe. I went ahead and ordered a original AC Delco Hydro Boost from like GMC dealership, and then I swapped it out, and ever since, I haven't had a single problem, and the brakes work really great. Been super firm and it stops my 37s on 14 wides like it's nothing. But after you know that experience, I definitely didn't want to take any chances with the Reman AutoZone Hydro Boost. And I just didn't like the way it felt on this truck. So I knew I was gonna replace with the OEM Hydro Boost. And the reason why I went with the LML one is I've read a lot on the forums. I've read a lot and people are saying that it definitely is an upgrade. Uh, it, may, it may not make that much of a difference, but 2011 Hydro Boost gives you more pressure, which means you know more stopping power. But the, one of the main reasons why I did get it is honestly it's cheaper. 2011 LML one is surprisingly cheaper than like a direct replacement for the classic body. So after you know I've heard that it's better and it's cheaper, it was no brainer. I got it from Rock Auto and it got here in a week. It said it was gonna be here in like two weeks, but it got here in a week. Packaging was awesome, fast shipping, great service. Rock Auto is probably gonna be the only website that I would trust buying like an OEM replacement. You could buy stuff from Amazon, but most of the times they don't have manufacturer's warranty. If you need parts, just buy from Rock Auto. So what do I think of this upgrade? Would I recommend it? 100%. If you are in the market and you need to replace your Hydro Boost, definitely upgrade and get this one. It's cheaper, I'll put the link in the description below. Not only that, but it's 100% better than the AutoZone Reman. Compared to my OG LOI that had the stock AC Delco Hydro Boost that was for that year, I think this one has more pressure. So I, I like the stopping power of this Hydro Boost better. First of all, anything's an upgrade compared to the AutoZone Remans. Definitely don't buy anything remanufactured, especially your brakes because like I said, it, it can be really scary when you lose pressure and you, you can't stop your truck. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this video helped you guys. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video and let me know if this helped you out. Uh, let me know if you're in the market of replacing the Hydro Boost because if you are, I highly recommend you know upgrading to the 2011 LML Hydro Boost. And if you made it this far, please put this emoji right here. Yeah, something's hitting. On your side? I can't I tell. It on my side. I can't tell, but it's something hitting every time the wheel rolls. Wait, go, go, get up to like 10 miles per hour. You hear anything? Yeah, something's here. I don't, hear. I, I don't I come hear. over to the passenger I, side. I don't hear anything. Okay, I'm coming to you, bro.
I don't yeah, hear anything. Well, I hear something Seriously. over there. Go, Seriously. See if you get over get there. Get out of the car and listen. There's something You want hitting. me to listen? All right, I'll there's go outside something, and listen. There's something hitting every time the wheels spin. Go. What is it, Cam? <laughs> is it the zip tie on your drive shaft? <laughs> you suck. Oh, you're awful. Oh my god, you hear something? Did you ever hear that? <laughs> what is that, Cam? 